Hey guys, it's Tactics coming to you today with another weapon review. This time we're going to be going over the M417, the first sniper rifle that you unlock in the DLC. In order to do so, you just need to get 10 tugs assists as well as 20 flag captures. Uh, I believe the fastest way to go ahead and do this is Conquest Domination since it's a much faster paced game. And you of course can do it in Conquest, but it's going to take a little bit more time depending on what map you're playing. So let's go ahead and get into the weapon. Uh, for the video to begin with, I run it with stock settings. I'll go ahead and change it later on. I like the iron sights, so I keep those on for throughout the entire game. Um, I also feel that if you put on s small sights, such as the US Hollow or the Red Dot Reflex sight, that it kind of hinders the hit detection with the weapon. So that's another reason why I leave the stock sight on it. But let's go into the specs of the gun. It has a 20 bullet magazine capacity with one extra in the chamber to make 21 total. This would tie it with the SKS, and speaking of the SKS, these two weapons, SKS and 417, are pretty much identical all the way around. Um, there's a few differences that I'll go ahead and cover, but I will say that I do like the M417 better. It looks better, it sounds better. The M416 was already one of my favorite weapons, so that's another thing. Um, I know that's opinion based. But let's go ahead and get into the other specs that differentiate the two. The fire rate, even though this is a semiotic sniper rifle, is 295 for the M417, whereas the SKS is faster at 333. But at the same time, I do not suggest just spamming your trigger as fast as possible at 417. This is a gun that's much better off if you're just tapping the trigger, or being, I should say, more controlled with your fire, making sure that your bullets hit what you're aiming at. Um, in regards to the damage, it has a max damage of 50 with a minimum damage of 38. It's the same as all the semi-automatic sniper rifles. Uh, it starts dropping off the damage after 15 meters, and it stops dropping off at 75. So that would basically cover the damage. There's no difference. You can't really differentiate the two. The M417 does have a faster muzzle velocity for the bullet, but at the same time, it's not much faster than the SKS. So that's not really a deciding factor. Um, the big thing, though, would be the reload time. Um, the reload time for the M417 would be at 1.85 seconds if you have a bullet still left in the mag. And then it would be at 2.4 seconds if you had a very uh, empty magazine. Now the SKS, it's at 2.3 seconds if you have a bullet left in the mag, and it would be at 3.5 seconds if you don't. So that's over a second difference if there's no bullet in the mag, if you're running empty on the, the gun itself. So that, that's one big deciding factor for me on why I like the 417 as well. Um, another would be the horizontal recoil. The gun has much less horizontal recoil than the SKS. The SKS does have a little bit less vertical recoil. So um, those are the differences. I guess that goes a little bit in the SKS favor in regards to if you like the vertical recoil. But at the same time, I like having less horizontal recoil. It's easier to control on the vertical side. At the same time, the vertical recoil on the M417 is less than the MK11. It's less than the SVD. It's less than the EMR. It's less than the QBU. So basically, the, it only trails behind the SKS and vertical recoil. Um, so let's go ahead and sit, I'm going to go ahead and talk about my view on the gun itself now, instead of just going into the specs. Uh, this gun is amazing. Uh, this is a running gun style sniper rifle for me. It, this is for the more aggressive recons. I would not suggest using this weapon if you're going to sit back, your spawn, and snipe long distances. That's not what it's designed for. I, I suggest going to your bolt actions if you're going to do that. Um, so, my opinion, this is a running gun style gun, especially once you stick the foregrip and you stick the, the laser on it, which you unlock those attachments very fast. Uh, the first attachment you unlock, if you really don't like the iron sights, would be the ACOG scope. The second of which would be the laser sight, and the third would be the foregrip. So you unlock some relevant attachments very fast with this gun. Um, at 20 and 30 kills are the most important for me. I leave stock sights on, as I said, just because it's um, better for the hit detection. And if you really don't like the ACOG, you do want a small sight on, such as the US Hollow, that would be the next that you do unlock, and that'd be at 50 kills. If you don't like that, you gotta wait more for the reflex. Um, and this gun, once you put a laser on it, it has great hit fire. This gun has better aimed on sight um, accuracy than the SKS, and that's if you're standing still. It has less accuracy aim down sight if you're running gunning. Um, the SKS has better for that. But it still doesn't differ in my opinion. The SKS, you can spray and pray a lot more, like you can tap the trigger. But I like the ability to go ahead and control my shot. I like the feel of it much better for the M417. Um, 
Like I said, if you're in a close and quarter combat, uh, two shots within 15 meters, you will kill your enemy. Um, very, it's very effective. That's if you're hitting the chest, of course. But um, three shots otherwise. This gun can do a lot of damage really fast, especially with the amount of bullets in the mag, and the fact that you can reload as fast as you do just makes it all the better. Uh, people are going to say that they have their own opinions between the SKS and the M417, but I will go ahead and say it one more time that the M417 to me is much better. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the rest of the gameplay. Uh, go ahead and get your own opinions on the gun, and I will go ahead and leave it at that. I will be coming out with a SPAS review um, very soon afterwards, after this comes out. So just let me know what you think of this, guys. Um, the last one that I will do is the LSAT that will probably come out tomorrow. So I do apologize about the delay in that. But I hope you guys have been liking these videos. If you do like it, please feel free to subscribe and like. Um, otherwise, I will go ahead and see you guys later. Have a good one.